recording as well. There we go. Um, and also one last thing for Jordan. I'm going to... Okay, cool. So um, Jordan, I'm going to hand it over. I'm going to mute myself too and turn off my video and the floor is yours. Thank you so much. Oh gosh, thank you so much for having me. So good. Kelly and I met via the internet a few months ago, which is just the power of the internet, y'all. Um, I'm feeling really thankful to be here. Um, I know that some of you guys turn your video off. So just a little bit of a background about me. I completed my 200 hour yoga teacher training in Bali last fall in August. Um, it was amazing and really transformational for me as a human being. Um, before that, I was practicing for about just under two years, um, mostly vinyasa. So if you have or haven't ever practiced yoga, I just want to let you know, like there's always, always um, variations and adjustments and do not feel, yoga is not about, um, it's about the breath. So just remember that. Um, you don't have to push yourself beyond if you feel that a move is not suiting you. Um, don't push yourself. Um, we're just here to ground down a bit, flow together, release some energy in this time of the world. So um, I'm really thankful that you guys are here supporting me. Um, so yeah, I have the playlist. Um, if you want it, if you don't, it's really cool. Um, and we're just gonna flow together, ground down a bit. Um, like I said, there's always variations. But again, so thankful that you're here. Um, if you see any animals in the background, there's a dog and a cat that live at the house. Um, just beware. And if you hear any birds, I am living in Australia. It's turning into fall. There's tons of birds and butterflies and all the things. So um, yeah, we will get started. Cal, um, I know you're muted. If anyone has their video, is this, I think this is how we set it up. It looks yeah, like. Yeah, I, I think we should be good. Why don't you go stand back there and I'll let you know that we can, we can see all of you. Can you, can you push that chair back like a smidge anymore or no? Uh, uh, if, yeah. If you're standing up, we can't see like the top of your head, but. Okay, let's make sure. Giving you guys a nice little show there. Yeah, I, there you go. And if I'm in the front, maybe my head will be cut off, but I feel like everyone's cool with that. It looks good to me. Okay, I hope everyone can hear me okay. Um, yeah, just keep your music like to a minimum. I'm gonna talk, try and talk really loud, but I'm gonna be flowing with you guys so that you're able to see. And if at some point I stop flowing um, to just like guide you through the movements, um, just know that's what I'm doing. So we're actually gonna get started on our backs today. Just beginning to ground down a bit, taking deep inhales and deep exhales. Feeling free to stretch your arms above your head and stretch your legs out. Letting your tongue fall away from the roof of your mouth. Relaxing your forehead. Relaxing your eyebrows and your cheekbones. Deep inhale. And exhale, let it go. Deep inhale. And exhale, release. Well, it's no secret that there is lots going on in the world right now. I think that as human beings, we forget that we are human beings <laughs> and not human doings. And I don't really believe that there's a right or a wrong to how you're choosing to use your time at this moment. Maybe some of you guys need to use it to rest. Or maybe some of you guys are using it to potentially level up in your life. But there's no right or wrong. 
And I think we see so many things on the internet and maybe we feel guilty that we're not doing enough or we're doing too much. But the truth is that for as long as I've lived in almost 27 years, this is the first time that I've ever seen the world all be affected in some capacity at the same time. I don't really believe that one person's troubles trumps another. It is impossible to completely relate to every single person in their circumstances, but that's all they are, right? They're just circumstances. And whether it's now with coronavirus or without, we always have circumstances. And that's all they are. They don't define us by any means. So right now, just take a deep breath in and release. Maybe this is the only time you're giving yourself today to just be with yourself, whether it's um, away from your partner or your family or stepping away from work or not stressing about what's going on. And right now is the time to just be with you. There's Everything is gonna be waiting for you um, after this flow and we don't have to rush. On your next inhale, reach your hands above your head, stretch your legs out and exhale, bring your knees to your chest. And do that a few more times. Inhaling and exhaling, bringing your knees to your chest. Deep breath in and exhale, release. On your next inhale, dropping your knees to one side and gazing to the other. This can be an easy twist. And if you're feeling like going a little bit deeper, you can always go into eagle legs or cross one ankle over your thigh. But I encourage you to keep your, both of your shoulders down just as we're warming up the body. A few more deep breaths here. On your next inhale, coming back to center. And exhale, dropping your knees to the opposite side. Opening up that side body, maybe feeling the stretch along your rib cage. more big deep breaths here. On your next inhale, bring your knees back to center and meeting at the top of your mat into easy pose, just crossing your ankles, crossing your legs. On our next inhale, reaching up, gazing towards our fingertips and bringing our hands to heart center, exhale. Do that one more time, inhale. And exhale, release. On our next inhale, dropping our right hand, reaching up our left, gazing under our arm, feeling the side body stretch along the left side of our rib cage. You wanna go deeper, maybe dropping your forearm. Feeling free to keep your eyes closed here, just remembering that this is your time and your space. Inhale back to center and exhale, dropping the left hand, switching sides. Feeling that side body stretch along your rib cage.
inhaling back to center. And on our next exhale, we're gonna take some seated twists. So just dropping your right hand behind your sit bones, left hand on your right knee and gazing over your shoulder. Inhaling back to center and exhaling, switching sides. Inhaling back to center and bringing our hands to our heart. Just feeling our heartbeat for a second. I like to set an intention with my class and this can be personalized to you. So maybe it's loving yourself more. Maybe it's acceptance of what's going on in the world right now. Maybe it's simply just the fact that you decided to show up for yourself today. See, meditation is the space between our thoughts. And I always like to compare it when you're driving a car and you are looking back like, how did I get from point A to point B? Because you were just being, but we tend to be consumed by our thoughts and we forget that we're not defined by those thoughts. And Maybe one second between each thought is where it begins. Like anything, meditation is a practice. So as you're flowing, just returning to your intention, returning to the breath, not being critical of yourself. Your next inhale, reaching up and exhaling, folding forward. Maybe this is where you can stay and that's totally fine. Maybe you drop your forearms, or maybe you can go all the way down and drop your head to your mat. If you're feeling any pain, stop. <laughs> Don't go any further. Good job. I can't see you guys, but I know that you're doing great. A few more deep breaths. Transitioning into our ujjayi breath, so inhaling through our nose and exhaling through our nose. The breath of fire, maybe feeling a soft whisper at the back of our throat or an ocean tide sound. Your next inhale, returning to a seated position and transferring to a tabletop position. So wrists in line with your ankles, flat back. On our inhale, dropping our belly, proud chest, looking up, and exhaling, rounding our spine, tucking our chin. Inhaling, dropping our belly, and exhaling, rounding our spine. Feeling free to move at our own pace for the next couple of breaths. Doing what feels good to you. Maybe that's rounding your hips. Maybe that's sitting back in a child's pose for a second. Your next inhale, returning to a neutral spine. Deep breath in. And exhale, release. Your next inhale, reaching your right leg back. Left arm forward, playing with spinal balance. If this is difficult for you, maybe keeping your hand on the ground, that's totally fine. Inhale, we're gonna do a few crunches, warming up our center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, reach. 
and exhale around your spine crunch one more inhale and exhale dropping your knees and now switching sides so right arm forward left leg back inhale and exhale around your spine crunching inhale reaching being completely guided by your breath there's no rush I'm just here to guide you through the poses. Inhale, let's take one more cat cow. And on your next inhale, floating your knees, floating tabletop, igniting your core. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And on your next exhale, slowly making your way to downward facing dog. Walking out your heels, walking out your legs. Being aware that your heels do not have to touch the ground. This comes with time. Maybe it will never happen for you and that's totally okay. Shoulders are away from the ears. Face is relaxed. On your next inhale, tiptoeing to the front of your mat, lengthening your back, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Grabbing opposite elbows, maybe swaying side to side, keeping your knees bent as we continue to warm up. On your next inhale, rising all the way up, no rush. Gazing towards your fingertips and exhale, hands to heart center. Tailbone is tucked, toes are together, core is tight. On your next inhale, reaching all the way up and exhaling forward fold. Not being afraid to take up space here. Your next inhale, halfway lift, flat back and exhale, right foot back, left foot to meet it lowering all the way down to the mat. On your next inhale, cobra, proud chest, and exhaling all the way down. Doing that two more times, inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale, and exhale. On your next inhale, planting your hands underneath your shoulders, pushing the plank, inhale the plank, and exhale, downward facing dog. Gaze is ideally between the thighs or at the back of your room or your yard. And on our next inhale, tiptoeing to the front of the mat. I'm gonna do that one more time. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Your next inhale, feeling free to grab opposite wrist and lean to the right side. Inhale, back to center. And exhale to the other side. Very good. Inhale back to center and exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift and exhale left foot back, right foot to meet it. Lowering halfway down, chaturanga. Inhaling to upward facing dog and exhaling to downward facing dog. Always feeling free to drop your knees or go into cobra or to skip a vinyasa. On your next inhale, looking to the front of your mat, walk, step, or jump. Halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. And exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And on your exhale, step or jump back to plank. Lowering halfway down to chaturanga. 
Inhale, upward facing dog, proud chest, arms are straight. And exhale, downward facing dog. Staying in downward facing dog for a few breaths. Maybe you feel your body, body heating up. On your next inhale, right leg up, hips are squared, and exhale, warrior one. So back heel turns down, hips are squared, rising all the way up. Inhale and exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, frame your foot. Traveling through a vinyasa. Really getting out that energy, ladies. We're just gonna heat it up today. Good job. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Back heel spins down, hips are squared, rising all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, frame your foot, traveling through a vinyasa. Moving with your breath. And exhale, downward facing dog. Your next inhale, walking your feet in just a little bit. Maybe they're reached along the long side of your mat. And we're just gonna take our right hand and grab onto our left um, leg and look under our armpit, just feeling that stretch along the backside of our thigh and of our quad. If it's too much, feeling free to bend your, bend your knee. You don't have to look all the way under your leg. more deep breaths here and on your next inhale switching sides easing up maybe making a visual connection And exhale, forward fold. On your next inhale, meeting at the front of your mat. We're gonna come into chair pose. So inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, drop your hips, drop your sit bones, core is tight. Shoulders are relaxed away from our ears. Feeling our thighs ignite. Inhale and exhale. One more deep inhale. And exhale, forward fold. Maybe our belly touches our thighs. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, traveling through vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog. On our next inhale, right leg up. Bend your knee, open your hips, so stacking your hips, feeling free to play around, maybe making circles with your leg or making circles with your ankle, whatever feels good to your body right now. And next inhale, right leg back. And exhale, rise up to high lunge. Hips are squared, back heel is lifted, shoulders are away from our ears. Inhale and exhale, maybe sinking a little bit lower. Very good. On your next inhale, hands to heart center. And we're gonna twist open for a prayer twist. The left elbow outside of our right knee. If you're finding you're having a hard time balancing, that's totally fine. Feeling free to just frame your front foot. If you wanna go a little bit deeper, feeling free to open your arms. Our chest is proud. Inhale, back to center. 
And on our next exhale, we're just gonna open for a twist. Again, proud twi twist. You want a little bit more, feeling free to reach back and grab the back of your thigh, feeling the side body stretch along your rib cage. Inhale back to center and exhale, frame your foot, meeting in downward facing dog. Trying to keep our legs a little bit straighter now as our body is warmed up. Your next inhale, left leg up, bend your knee, stack your hips, feeling free to make circles clockwise or counterclockwise. Warming up those ankles, whatever feels good to you. That's the beauty of it. There's no right or wrong. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, high lunge. Back heel stays lifted. Arms reach up away from our ears. Inhale and exhale, hands to heart center. On our next inhale, prayer twist. Opening up to the left side, so right elbow outside of the left knee. Again, if this is too much, just feeling free to frame your front foot into a runner's lunge. And if you're looking for a little bit more, feeling free to open your arms. The key here is to have our chest proud. We don't wanna be collapsing onto our front thigh. Very nice. Inhale and exhale. Next inhale, rising all the way up. And exhaling, twisting open. Right arm forward, left arm back. Proud, tri proud <laughs> chest, excuse me. Hips stay squared here. Maybe seeking a little bit deeper into that front thigh if you can manage it. Very good, inhale back to center, and exhaling, framing our front foot, traveling through a vinyasa and meeting in downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, and exhale, downward facing dog. Good job, ladies. On our next inhale, shifting forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shifting forward to plank. And downward facing dog. Inhale to plank and hold. Your next inhale, opening up to the right side for a side plank. A variation would be dropping your knee, which is totally fine. And if you are looking for something a little bit harder, maybe playing around with raising your right leg, opening your chest, playing with a little bit of balance here. Very good. Inhale back to center and switching sides. Again, feeling free to always keep that knee down. Inhale, back to center, plank and hold. Three, two, I hope I have abs after this, <laughs> and downward facing dog. Good job. Your next inhale, right leg up, and knee to chest. Stepping through, bend, spin the back heel down, rise up, warrior one, inhale, and exhale, opening up to warrior two. Gaze is at the front middle finger. Inhale, and exhale, reverse your warrior. Flowing through that a few times, so inhale, and extended side angle. Inhale back to center, and exhale, reverse your warrior. Inhale back to center and exhale, extended side angle. Staying here for a few deep breaths. 
Elbow can either be resting on our thigh or hand can be planted on the mat with the proud chest. Again, we don't want to be collapsing onto our thighs. So maybe that means even just resting our hand on our front shin. Very good. Inhale, back to center, warrior two. Sinking a little bit lower into our front leg. And exhale from your front foot, traveling through a vinyasa, meeting in downward facing dog, always feeling free to drop your knees, chest and chin, inhaling to cobra, and exhaling to downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, spin the back heel down, warrior one. And exhale, warrior two. Sinking a little lower in that front leg. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Reverse your warrior. Legs stay the same. Inhale back to center, just flowing with your breath. Exhale, let's do a side angle. Inhale back to center. Exhale and reverse your warrior. Inhale and exhale, staying in extended side angle. Again, keeping your knee your elbow on your thigh, or dropping your hand to the mat. Proud chest. It's too much, always, you can always keep your hands in a prayer. Inhale, rise all the way up, warrior two. And exhale, framing your front foot. Meeting in downward facing dog, however you want to get there. You guys are doing great. Inhale, right leg up. And on your next exhale, opening up to warrior two. Back heel spins open. Inhale and exhale, reverse your warrior, straightening your front leg this time. And on your inhale, tipping into triangle pose. So hand can either be at resting on your front shin or on the mat. Again, the most important thing here is to have a broad chest. We don't wanna be collapsing. Gazing up, making a visual connection. And on your next inhale, bending into your front leg, meeting in warrior two. And we're gonna meet in five pointed stars. So opening up against the long length of your mat or if you're on the floor, um, just making your feet parallel with your hips. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, and the next time fold just a little bit deeper. You can feel free to grab onto your toes, reach behind you, go onto your forearms, whatever feels good. Maybe it's here, maybe it's here. On your next inhale, keeping your left hand down, right arm reaches up. And switching sides. And exhale, dropping your hand, framing your front foot. We're gonna go into a standing split. So weight is distributed into your front leg and back heel is lifted. Most people have the tendency to open up like this, but the most important thing is to keep your hips squared. So even if your leg isn't going super high, that's totally fine. Feeling the stretch along your thigh, your hamstring. 
feeling free to keep your front leg bent if it's too much for you to keep it straight. And if you're looking for a variation, maybe grabbing on to your left leg, feeling a quad stretch. Inhale and on your exhale, feet come together at the front of your mat. Halfway lift and exhale forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, meeting in chair. The sit bones are dropped back, core is tight. Shifting the weight to your tippy toes if you can. Inhale and exhale, lowering halfway down. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, lowering all the way down. Slow, slow, slow. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold, very good. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, making your way to downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up, and exhale, opening up to warrior two. Back heel spins down, bow chest. Inhale and exhale, reverse your warrior, straightening your front leg. Inhale back to center and tipping in to triangle pose. Inhale, bending into your front leg, meeting in warrior two and opening up to five pointed star along the long side of your mat. Inhale and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift in, exhale, folding just a little bit deeper. Doing what you need here. Maybe it's some side lunges. You wanna reach up again. Maybe go into a headstand if you're feeling frisky. Inhale and exhale, framing your front foot, transitioning into standing splits, so weight is distributed into your left foot. Knee can be slightly bent. Hips are squared. A few more deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale, meeting at the front of our mat. Toes are together. Inhale, halfway to lift. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising all the way up. And exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, maybe your last chaturanga of the day. Meeting in downward facing dog. Very good. Inhale and exhale. Your next inhale, just tiptoeing to the front of your mat and making your way to your back. So we're gonna go into bridge pose. So our feet are planted on the mat. And when we inhale, we lift our hips to the ceiling. Just warming up, so inhale and exhale, dropping your sit bones. Let's do that one more time. Inhale and exhale. On your next inhale, feeling free to walk your shoulder blades together and interlace your fingers behind your back. And exhale lower. We're gonna do a little hip stretch. So right ankle is planted on our left thigh. And we're gonna interlace our fingers behind our left thigh. Feeling free to bring 
our legs a little bit closer to our chest. If it's too much, just keeping it here. If you want a deeper stretch, bringing your knees closer to your chest and curling up into a little bowl. Inhale, and on your next exhale, dropping your foot, scooting over a little bit and dropping your knees over to the left side for a little bit of a deeper twist this time. So again, shoulders are planted on the mat. It's okay if your knees don't touch the ground. Easing towards your fingertips, opposite your knees. Few more deep breaths here. Inhaling back to center, unwinding your legs and switching sides. So left to ankle is resting on your right thigh for a little hip stretch, feeling free to interlace your fingers behind your right leg, bringing them as close as you want to your chest. Being mindful as your breath naturally begins to slow down. No need to control anything, just let it happen. We tend to store emotions in our hips, so if your hips are very tight, just know that you can do this every single day and maybe release a little bit of stress from your everyday day to day. your next inhale, dropping your hips over to one side and coming into a final twist. Gazing to one side. Recognizing that maybe your twist is a little bit deeper than when you started. Maybe coming back to that in intention that you set as we transition our way into final relaxation, Shavasana. A few more deep breaths in this twist. Inhaling back to center. And if there's anything else that you need from your practice today, whether it's swaying your knees side to side or coming into a happy baby, feel free to take a few breaths here and do that. meeting in Shavasana when you're ready. Hands can be rested to one side. One hand can rest on your belly and one on your heart.
Your life is not static. The true meaning of courage is to be afraid and then with your knees knocking and your heart racing, taking the leap anyway. No matter how far away from yourself you may have strayed, there is always a path back. There will always be setbacks. What you are experiencing is just a detour. It is not the end of the road. We fall off course the minute our intention shifts from following our heart to responding to what we think others believe. If you want support for your idea, stand in what you hold sacred. Those who sense your truth will rise up. Don't wait until you're sitting on your porch in your rocking chair to evaluate the character of your actions. Ask yourself today, in the middle of your complicated, demanding, chaotic life, what do I want my legacy to be? The goal is to get back to living for yourself, to get back to your flow, and that is not a selfish thing. It is an honorable thing. You are not your circumstances. You are your possibilities, and your life is speaking to you all the time. Few more deep breaths here. And when you're ready, meeting at the front of your mat, eyes closed, bring your hands to heart center. We're gonna take a few deep breaths together. So inhaling, arms reach up, and exhaling, release. Let's do that two more times. Inhaling, and exhale, release. Inhaling, and exhaling, release. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today, for showing up for yourself, for just being. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Thank you. Let's give everyone a minute to uh, come back to meet everyone if you would like to. I'm grabbing all my books and laptop. How does everyone feel? Uh, relaxed. Good. Oh, the puppy. That was great, Jordan. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank you guys for being here. Oh my gosh, I hope I didn't take you through too many chaturangas. <laughs>